here at Motivation 38. We've just had the unveils done. I'm here with Boris and his HQ Sam and Ute. That's a door slammer. Yep, exactly what it is. <laughs> you built the car pretty much yourself a lot. Especially yeah, it's the... all total one-man band sort of thing. Yeah, That's why it's taking so long. It's taking years to get together. And Where did it all start? Like, where did it start with the dream to build something like this? Uh, my original car 38, 40 years ago. First car was a black HQ Ute. So the whole build was based over that. Yeah. So I reproduced my first car. Yeah, yeah. And upgrade from there. Did it, did the plan start out as making a door slammer or? Uh, originally it was going to be a skid car. Yeah. <laughs> and we're building two of them. So one was going to be my young fellows. Yeah. But then it blew out proportion. So I always thought I'll make the first door slammer as this one. Yeah, yeah. So. And did you? So you didn't. This didn't start with a HQ. You you built it from had the it chassis built. Started out as a one ton of cab. Yeah, okay. And then we realised the wheelbase is too long for door slammer. Yeah. So we had to go back, all right, we're going to make a ute now. So we <laughs> drafted all utes and parts together and shaped it all back to that. The car, obviously, the body is immaculate. You've built this yourself. A yep. lot of people might, might not know that, but yep. what's it take to get it to build a body like this to get in, the body, in, a, in a way that's To unique. get the body to that first stage, yep. when you're fiberglass and you've got to build a plug first. Yeah. So you've got to make that uh, a perfect car. Right. So shiny, finish, body lines, gap, everything. Yeah. So we've done that. We take the moulding off the car and basically the car, that first product called the plug gets thrown away. And that allows you to stick the Kevlar to the... Well, then we make the moulds yep. and we pull that apart, wax moulds up. Yeah, wow. And then we go through the building process to making all your parts. Yeah, wow. Which we've made, basically we've made three of everything so far, okay. trying to get the perfect part. Yeah. So you've got plenty of spares, but... <laughs> plenty of spares, but they're not usable, but yeah. they're just in the junkyard, yeah. And have you done all, do you do this for a trade, or you've done this for a long time? Or uh, you just... I got into fiberglass in like, one of my first jobs. Yeah. So it's been in my background my whole life, and I don't actually do it much now, it's just help friends out. Yeah, yeah. And I stick my earthworks. What's the, been the biggest challenge of building a car like this, you reckon? Uh, just the time frame, because we're only doing like two hours a week, not three hours a week. Yeah, we've got yeah. a little crew that come on Wednesday nights. Yeah. And then the last two months we made a decision. We book it into motivation, we've got to get it finished. <laughs> so I've been spending hours and hours rubbing it out, painting it, coding it to get to where we are now. And all this is 15 years though in the, in the Yeah, making. Well, that's the same thing. I've been building mould parts and changing the mould parts, yeah. making a set of doors in, all right, make a new set of doors, get it right, I'm change the front end. I'm sure you've got points where you're sitting there going, is this ever going to, are we ever going to get this thing on the road? Yes, it is a bit. It's like that sort of thing. You get sick yeah. of it, then it sits. You know you're going to, but it's yeah. like... Yeah. It used to sit for three months, four months, sometimes yeah. six months. Then we bang, we're on again. You know what I mean? <laughs> so... You've got it looking absolutely perfect. Tell us about the chassis. Who built that and what's, what's the go with the motor? Um, the chassis is all chrome molly. Yeah. So we've done that many mods on it now and changed it to how we want it. Yeah. It's still not perfect. I'd, I'd like to build a new one. Yeah, okay. The way, like it suits me sort of thing. Yeah. But that's just another story on its own, another job <laughs> on its own. Yeah. And yeah, probably going to have a bit of a close yeah, up yeah. on all that if you want. So with the motor, it's, uh, it, this is a Brad Anderson motor, so yeah. it's a full billet motor. Probably drag races understand a lot more than your local like street car deal. Yeah. Uh, solid block, runs on methanol. The motors make like 3,000 to four and a half, five, you know what I mean? They're getting 4,800 yeah. horsepower out of them now. So, on methanol? Yeah, all methanol. But even like, all the engineering on it's like yep. we've designed a lot of stuff on there that people don't do and yep. just upgrading things. And Is it about running a fast number for you in this car or it's more about the you well, like we, the project or the building process? I love the building side of it. The racing's like uh, a bit second hand to me. Yep, like, yep. But now I've got to fall for it, go through the whole deal. Yeah, <laughs> and you are keen to race it, yeah. Yeah, we'll yep. hopefully we'll get some test runs April. March, April, yeah. and hopefully we'll be loading up for October, start of the season. Yeah, okay. But in the meantime, we've got to build the bus. So you now. want to do a full door slammer? Yeah, full year door round with this. Yeah, that's all right. around the country. Yeah, we we'll do a full tour on it. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm sure is, people love love to see it. It's yeah, that many people have been hanging out to look yeah. at it and see the finishing, and yeah, that was the hardest part holding people back. It's from certainly different, at it. you know. Like a lot of people, you yeah. can buy molds right off the off the shelf. Let's call it in a certain sense, but. Yeah, you can buy a this set is, of GDS guards yeah. and fiberglass, but not, not like the this, step right. we've built. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? 
<laughs> but even like engineering side, making yep. all our own oil tanks and yep. designing the zoomies so they're adjustable for downforce and yep. thrust and all that, yep. which is a major part in the tune-up side of things. Yep. So, yeah, yeah. Do you have an inspiration like from door slammer that, you, that sort of gave you the... Um, well, years and years ago, I helped all mates build cars, the Chapman Brothers and, yep. and crewed with uh, Zapier for a while. So. Yep. All that. He knows a thing or two about running. Yeah, all that, all the building of all that gives you a little bit more information and the knowledge of it. Yeah. So, and all through these guys, I've learnt to um, perfect the problems that they've had. I'm sure they've got their eyes on this. They're keen to see. Yeah, there's a few people looking keen at. Keen to see that. you. To, I got. No, I, there's no secrets with me. Yeah. Everything's on Facebook, <laughs> on Instagram. Yeah. Even all the design of these tanks and that we done them eight years ago with that designer filter and now everyone's got them and the big companies that make them actually produce them. Yeah, yeah. So, the same thing, we don't hold back on all that. <laughs> <laughs> when are you keen to race it? Um, hopefully October. Okay. So this season coming. Yeah. But we need to get the test runs in the license and done all before then. Yeah, so you'll do a few test test sessions and stuff with it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just get a shakedown or whatever? Yeah, well, it's all set in the suspension then and yeah. pull the tune up right for what we want. Yeah. Which is another game I was saying. Yeah, yeah. Sleep looks nice again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's cool. This might sound a little bit louder than that, you never know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> now it's all finished. What do you love about it the most? Are you, are you... Um, that I've got to this stage now. Yeah. Like I say, if I didn't book this in a motivation, it would have yeah. dribbled on for another year. It gave year. me the motivation. <laughs> it gave me the motivation to get it there and done. Yeah. So, and now I've got this out of the way. I've got a bit of housework to do. Yeah. Keep my wife happy. There she comes. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I know all about it. Don't worry. And then we'll get the bus underway, which yep. is another project on its own. Yeah. Making the load system for it and tooling it up and just to get get it to the track. Just touch on the rear end and yep. what leads into the transmission. It's pretty special, right? Yep. Well, we um, originally started out with a sheet metal diff yep. with all the floaters on it and time change revolves, so yep. we end up getting a Mark Williams 12 inch, which yep. is a diff that goes 600 odd runs. They don't break. If you run a nine inch or a ten, you have gear problems. So, to me, it's a smart way of yeah, starting yeah. without having a problem. Yeah. Um, so preventative, all preventative that, maintenance. Is yeah. <laughs> so I'm saying all that the chassis was built. Yeah. So we end up chopping half the back off again and starting again with it. So that was another feat for the guys helping. It wasn't what you originally planned, but you knew that it was. Well, we had it right built for a do. different type diff where yeah. this one's so big, yeah. and bulky, and yeah, and that changed that. So, and the transmission, pretty special. Uh, with trans, yep. So with the transmission, we got like a B and J gearbox with yep. a tire drive uh, converter package on the front of it. Um, that's all. Jeff Cutterjar, our main race guy from the EC, organised all these parts for me and kept me up to date with what we need to be at this level of uh, drag racing. Yeah. So I put my hand out for him. He's, he knows everything benefits of a gearbox like this much easier to drive would you say one benefit is with the clutch yeah all the dust and dirt inside the car Boxer, yeah and we don't, i don't want that yeah <laughs> we've got a nice clean car not, now yeah, not this beautiful car now <laughs> so we just get in there it's just plug the oil lines in and yep. that's all we need to do for maintenance and the other thing running to the auto i've got rid of one guy from the crew yep. which is you need a clutch guy yep. so trying to turn this into a one-man race team hashtag yeah <laughs> It won't happen, but in my head, I need to build it so I can handle it with me and the wife. And after a bit of tuning, you never know, maybe you and Zap in a final one day, head oh, to head. 100%, the huge <laughs> versus the coupe. <laughs> too good. Yeah, we'll have it. Yeah. Yeah. The, the Western Australian race off. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And be good, we'll hopefully we'll get to do the tour around yeah, and of course. do all the states and that, but yeah. same, it's a big sponsor build up to get there. Yeah. Which we've got a little plan for that, and hopefully it all pulls off all right. And that's, and it, been building it this long, looking forward to that long. It'll be surreal to be in a position where you're at yeah. a start line in a proper competition. Yeah, you know, well, we want to be able to like, take on Australia, if yeah. not the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, to do that, we need all this, all this money to make this package happen. Because it's not like 10 years ago or six years ago, 500,000 was your full Australian round. Yeah. Now you basically need like a million dollars yeah. to do all yeah. the rounds. Yeah, yeah. So, Lucky the wife didn't hear that. 
15 yeah. years, no doubt you've been saving yeah, your pocket yeah. money ready to yeah, go. Yeah, I've so. been saving my money. <laughs> but that's it, I've been putting my money in it to get to this stage. Yeah. But you can't yeah. expect sponsors to give you money to build a car yeah. that hasn't even run. So I've got to prove the car first, then we'll go to the next level. Yeah. With the rear end, what we've done is we've fixed it on other people's problems, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So it's, the engineering side, I don't know, it keeps better. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> what sort of numbers do you want to run, do you reckon? Oh, we've got to be in like a yep. 580 bracket yep. anyway. Yep. So we've got to be crunching under that to, to play with everyone. And I'm guessing coming up, the first year we're just going to be waste of time. Not waste of time, but a lot of tuning and suspension working out. Yep. All the power side's not a problem at the moment. Yep. It's just all the suspension and getting it run straight. Yep. I've got the patience to, to do that. But yeah. everyone else hasn't, they want Once you punch an eye, then you can focus on little things like, you know, another bit of more mile an hour or whatever else. Yeah, well, that's, that's down the track. That's right, A lot yeah, of people yeah. jump in and they just want to pedal it straight to the board yeah. and do that. I'd yeah. rather spend the time and, yep. like, if it takes another six months, that's, that's good. Yeah. yeah. It's a long game. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was saying, it took me 15 years to get there to perfect yep. it. And uh, it might take me two years now to perfect to get to the top. Oh, so you were talking before too, it was interesting. The whole body only weighs about 120 kilos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So obviously, we're going to lighten that up. This yeah. first body was designed to build the chassis. Yeah. So, so you're going to build a whole other body again? Yeah, but don't let the wife hear that. Okay, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I mean, let anybody know. She's got good ears. Is right that because now. this would be, would, would it be fair to say this might be a show body and you'll have like a sponsored yeah, we'll, race body? We'll keep that as just a backup body. Yeah. And then the glass, we'll do a proper carbon body. Okay. Cut the weight right down because the car is actually heavy. Okay. And we need to be, be around 2,700 pounds. Yeah. To, be, the moment, to run maybe. fives and yeah, in yeah. that bracket. If we're heavy, it's just, it's not yeah. our game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah well, so that's just a plug this thing. A throw away. Oh, throw away. My God, don't throw that away. Yeah, garage <laughs> art. <laughs> uh. don't, don't throw it away. If you want to sell it, I'll put it on like a, I'll put it on like a can am or something like that. And make it look yeah, sick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. No, uh, awesome. A car like this doesn't build itself. Any people you want to thank for? Uh, the main person I, I need to thank is the wife. She's right there. And my young fella, James. Yeah. He's uh, he's in riding the cars and everything himself. So he's always there. He's TIG welding. Does yeah. fabrication, so he's really good. Um, Jerry, Jerry Eldridge, he's been there from day one. Inspiration every time he comes, yeah. explaining shit and what's going to break, what's not going to break, how we're going to rechange it, and make it good. So uh, he's he's like the heart of it. Uh, Josh Lawson from Pro Marine, he's there every Wednesday night and ringing to say I'm coming. We're going to do some work on it. He's yeah. he's the powerhouse guy and pushing the next stage to get get this all happening. Yeah. There's a few other guys that come around helping that, but they're all they're all part of the team. But yeah. there's like a heap of them. Yeah, I bet. So yeah. A, lot, a lot of these cars don't build themselves, even though we all. You know, nah, I started out. The whole build was me. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's my problem. I created it. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't expect someone to come and rub my cars down because yeah. you're not going to rub them how I want to rub them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things. I like the name when you did the uh, the unveil with Anna Sandman. You had a bit of Metallica playing. Yeah, well, that's the whole car is built around the theme of. Enter the Sandman. Yeah. So that's why we've got that on the number plate there. Just James is a big car man himself. I'm sure if he could get his eyes and spend 10 minutes looking yeah. at it, he'd appreciate it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. So, like I say, we've got over this point of the stage, so next yeah. stage is racing. And never Metallica. started with a real car though, but. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> you build your own, do you? Yeah, yeah, that's right.